I literally feel like a wall of pink right now. Like later in the video when you guys see the outfit of the day, you all are gonna be like, no one should ever wear that much pink. Hey guys! So a little while ago I did a video called The Everyday Struggles of a Tall Girl and it's my most popular video on my channel so far and so I figured why not do the other side of it and do the everyday advantages of a tall girl. So I compiled a list of the pros of being tall so without further ado, here we go! You get a really good view at concerts and movies. Uh, sometimes people behind you, not so much, but for you, it's awesome. It's really hard to get lost in a crowd. If you can find clothes that'll fit you and that come long enough and in your size, uh, then a lot of them tend to look better on a tall frame. No one ever steals your shoes because they're way too big to fit anyone normal sized. You're never obligated to wear high heels. Like if you go to formal events and stuff and you show up in ballet flats, no one cares. But if a short girl shows up, they're like, why aren't you wearing heels? You can always reach things on high shelves. Some guys actually prefer tall girls. Uh, I've heard it many times, so that's nice. And on that same topic, it is an excuse to reject a guy sometimes. If a guy that's a little bit shorter asks you out and you don't really want to go out with him, you can use the height as an excuse. And you get to call dibs on all the tall guys. I'm not particularly into sports, but for those of us who do like sports, Height is an advantage in a lot of them. Odds are, if you're a tall girl, you have really fabulous long legs. And that is definitely something that a lot of shorter girls wish they had. No one can ever see how bad the top of your hair looks, whether it be like you haven't taken a shower in a couple days, or you're one of those girls that like dyes all of your hair and then your roots start to show. If you're tall, no one can tell. We get to eat a lot more and have a lot more places to hide it. If I weighed as much as I do right now on a really short frame, wouldn't be a good picture. This one may not apply to girls who don't live in like a big city or anything, um, but for me in New York, I'm less likely to be mugged on the street because I'm so tall. I look intimidating. Although I'm not an intimidating or scary or strong person, uh, it kind of adds that effect when I'm walking down the street at night. People think you're a model a lot of the time. That's actually the reason I got into modeling in the first place because so many people told me, oh my gosh, you should be a model. Are you a model? Oh, you're so pretty. You should be a model. You're so tall, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, okay, fine, I'll be a model. <laughs> um, but even for those of us who didn't actually go into modeling, it's nice to hear that all the time. No girl minds being thought of as a model. That's a great compliment. And lastly, you're memorable. You will stick in people's minds for a very long time after they meet you. Uh, it might just be as that really tall girl that they once met, but at least they remember you. A lot of other people wish that they had that automatic presence and attention when they walk into a room, so lucky us. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you're a tall girl, then I hope I made you appreciate it a little bit more than you did uh, before this video. And if you're not, then I hope you just kind of enjoyed hearing the advantages. I don't know. But yeah, so comment down below if you have any responses or anything. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye! get them first. What am I doing? What? What the f- Hair. Uh.
<laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Things that I didn't even know. What? 